defined compound interest for a sum of 2 lakh rupees at a rate of 5% per annum for 2 years. Now in compound interest you have a formula. The formula is P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of N. Where P is the principal, R is the rate, N is the number of years. Instead of number of years, I would tell it as number of times we calculate. Okay. Now the formula amount equals P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of N. What is the value of P here? 2 lakh. 1 plus R is 5 by 100. 2 years. 2 years means we calculate 2 times because it is per annum. Right? So this will be 2 lakh. 5 ones are 5 twenties are 20 plus 1 is 21 by 20 whole square means I will write it 2 times. This is my favorite part. 0, 0, 0, 0 cancel. Can I say 2 twos are 4? 2 fives are 20 followed by 2 zeros. So this will be 500 into 21 square is how much? 441. So 500 into 441, 5 into 441 will be 2205 followed by double zero. So answer is 2,20,500. What is this 2,20,500? It is the amount. Principal was 2 lakh and the final amount I'm getting is 2,20,500. So can I say the extra amount which I'm getting is interest and that is nothing but 20,500 rupees. This is method number one. This is how many people solve. 70% of the people solve using this formula. I'll give you another method. There's a formula for two years. Change in percentage will be x plus y plus xy divided by 100. Sir, x 5% per annum first year. Second year also 5% per annum. x into y, 5 into 5 is nothing but 25 divided by 100. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 0.25 is 10.25%. Which means my compound interest is 10.25% of the principal. So that is nothing but 10.25% of principal means how much? Of 2 lakhs. Double zero, double zero gets cancelled. So this two zeros I will use to move the decimal. So this will be 1025 into 20. So double of 1025 is 2050 by 0. So my interest is how much? 20,500. I think we are getting the same amount. Okay, so this uh, around 25 to 27 percent of people apply. Now there is another method. Sir, principal is 2 lakh. I am getting 5 percent interest. What is 10 percent of 2 lakh? 20,000. So 5 percent will be 10,000. So can I say at the end of one year, I am getting 2 lakh 10,000 rupees. But they are asking after two years. So again calculate for one year. 10% is 21,000, so 5% will be 10,500. So total I'll be getting is 2,20,500 rupees. This is the final amount. So what is the extra money I'm getting from 2 lakh to 2,20,500? 2 lakh 20,500 20, rupees. So there are three ways of solving this problem. You can adapt to any, any method. Okay, so either go with the first method or the second method or the third method. But I would recommend you to know all the methods so that even if you're stuck in any method, you can switch on to the other method. Clear people? Please copy it now. So the previous one, you saw three methods, correct? Either first method, second method or third method. First method, I call it as the formula method. Second method is also a formula method, which is change in percentage. If you have gone through our percentage videos, you would find that formula. Method number three, I call it as the raw method. And I think maximum people of you would have found that method easier. Now the problem with all the three methods is, uh, I have to write a lot. Now you might tell sir, method number three, only two times you wrote, no. But that was for two years. What if they ask for four years? I can't waste my time calculating four times. So what do I do? I don't follow any of the three methods. I follow this method of mine. That is method number four. I repeat the question. 2 lakh is the principal. Rate of interest is how much? 5%. For how many years? Two years. All of you, 
please focus any doubt please let me know okay now this is how i do rate is 5% for 2 years 2 years means we have to calculate 2 times 3 years calculate 3 times okay 5% what is 10% 20000 if 10% is 20000 what is 5% 10000 2 years calculate 2 times you have, you have already calculated for one time one more time 10% is how much 1000 if 10% is 1000 how much is 5% 500 and for 2 years I will use this ratio that is nothing but 2 is to 1 all of you what is 2 into 10,000 20,000 what is 1 into 500 500 so answer is 20,000 plus 500 that is nothing but 20,500 rupees I think we are getting the same answer in a faster and an easier way is it clear so all these techniques that you find will be in quant masters you will be able to solve it in the fastest easiest and the simplest way and this is what gives me the edge over others in any competitive exams to solve it in the fastest way so that i can manage them whenever i take competitive exams or any placement drives i don't run behind time sir i run behind technique and speed time will automatically run behind me i hope the concept is clear please copy it down Find the compound interest on a sum of how much? People, let's do this directly. Sum is 800 rupees. What is the rate? 10% for how many years? 3 years. Okay, so I'll write the rate as 10%. Time is 3 years. All of you. Now, this is the question given. 3 years, calculate 3 times 10%. What is 10% of 800? 80. 10% of 80? 8. 10% of 8? 0. 0.8. And for 3 years, what is the ratio? 3 is to 3 is to 1. What is 3 into 80? 240. What is 3 into 8? 24. What is 1 into 0.8? 0. 0.8. So, the answer will be 264.8 rupees. So, do we have this option? That is option B, B for beta. Please copy it down. Find the difference between simple and compound interest at 5% per annum for 2 years on a principle of 2000. So I got to know the principle is 2000, 5%, 2 years. They are asking difference between simple interest and compound interest. Now if I use the formula, we first find out simple interest for 2 years and then compound interest for 2 years. The difference between them will give me the answer. But look at this one, 5% 2 years. 10% is 200, 5% is 100, 10% is 10, 5% will be 5. Now, 2 years is 2 is to 1, all of you, make an observation. Can I say interest of simple interest and compound interest will be the same for first year? Yes or no? So, the simple interest and compound interest for the first year is 100 only. Can I say second year? Compound interest will be more than the simple interest. So whatever I got for the second year, this is the difference between simple interest and compound interest. First year, it will be the same. For the second year, whatever extra you get, this is the amount where the compound interest is more than the simple interest. So here I got the answer as phi and this phi is nothing but CI minus SI, extra money. So do we have this option? Option A is the answer. Clear all of you? Please write it down. Find compound interest for a sum of 1000 rupees at 10% per annum compounded by annually. People, I'll just write the question. So here they have given the principle as what? 1000 rupees. They have given the rate as what? 10% and they have given the time as what? 1 year. And they have told by annually. Now this is very important part. By annually. Okay, so what do you mean by by annually? I think I have written the spelling wrong. Yeah, it is double L Y. So what do you mean by by annually? Let me take a simple example. Okay, you give me a loan of uh, 
thousand rupees, and you tell Himanshu you have to pay ten percent every year. So what is ten percent of thousand rupees? Hundred rupees. So every year I have to pay you hundred rupees. Now you tell Himanshu you don't have to pay after every year. You have to pay after uh, every six months. Which means should I pay hundred rupees in six months and again hundred rupees in the next six months? No. So I have to pay fifty rupees in the first six months and the remaining fifty rupees in the next six months. I hope the concept is clear. So here, can I say my interest rate is becoming half? Instead of paying ten percent in one year, I am paying five percent in the first six months and then five percent in the next six months. This is what is called biannually. And initially we were calculating once a year, but now we are calculating twice a year. So can I say the number of calculation is becoming double? So whenever I say biannually, the rate percent will become half, and the number of calculations will become double. So over here, rate will become half. So what is ten percent by two? It is nothing but five percent. So this is my new rate, and time will become double. So instead of one year, now it will be how many times you have to calculate? Two times in a year. So it is two times you have to calculate. Okay. Now ten thousand five percent. What is ten percent? Hundred five percent. Fifty. Again, uh, two years, two times we have to do. So ten percent is five. Five percent is two point five. For two years, what is the ratio? Two is to one. Two into fifty is hundred. Plus one into two point five is two point five. So answer is hundred plus two point five. Do we have that option? That is one or two point five option C. I hope you have understood the concept, people. Please write it down.